Once you get logged into your MacInvia account, you should see uh, that it is your account in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to show you just a few navigation search options when you get in here. On the home page, if you know that there is a specific title that you are looking for, it does have a search bar that you can use. Do make sure that you are spelling things correctly when you are searching them. So um, I always tell students whenever you are looking for a specific title, always make sure that you are clicked on the home option before you start your search. Some other things to show you over here on the left is if you click all resources, it's going to show you all 1697 books that we currently have. Maybe not the best way to search. Um, you can also click on groups. These are lists that were pre-made. And if you scroll through these, um, most of these were made by um, either myself or um, teachers in the building. So you can use groups. Categories is a really great option, especially if you have a specific genre that you like. These are the genres that we currently have the books divided into. So this is also a pretty good place to start. For example, if you know you really like, um, oh, let's say social studies, um, you could start by going to um, categories and just opening the social studies genre. So that's a good option. Um, eBooks is going to show you everything that is an electronic book. Um, and that's still a pretty big number to start with. Um, we also have links to the Iowa AEA online databases located within our Mac and Via account. So these links are kind of all over the place, but Mac and Via also has them for us. And then audiobooks is going to show you everything um, that you can listen to. And there's about 122 of those. Now, keep in mind that the audiobooks do not have print that accompany them. It's simply that you're just going to listen to the book um, with a pair of heads, uh, with a earphones. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the home screen and show you something that I've recently done. It's kind of a change, a new option um, for teachers when they're setting up their homepage. Um, what I have done is I have taken several of the lists that are located in groups and I have made them what's called a featured group. So when you go to the landing page, when you open your account, these are going to automatically pop up and they're called carousels and you can page through those. So I know that this year the Children's Choice Award nominees and the Teen Award nominees are going to be popular. So I have added those to the landing page, which would be nice for easier access. Um, something else I've also done is I've gone through the categories and I have added the more popular categories, for example, general fiction, adventure, mystery and suspense. So again, I've just taken some of the categories and featured them on the home page for easier access. So those are some of your search options. Um, browse, um, kind of find what works best for you. And if you have any questions, please ask.